Hope all of you are having a nice Thanksgiving. Some local troops are enjoying their holiday at a home away from home. The USO's annual Adopt a Service member. Families welcome troops into their home for food and fellowship. Then in your size, Liz Palka joined one family. And Liz, this is the holiday spirit at work, isn't it? Yeah, Tom, this is not an easy Thanksgiving for the two young soldiers I met today. Away from their families for the first time, they tell me, well, it's been hard. But thanks to the Deaver family, they didn't feel so far from home. Wait, wait, pass it here. How's it here? How's it here? Hey. All right, it's always been open to any. You don't have somewhere to go? Come, come eat with us. Oh! Judging by this game, you'd never know Zachary Barthamus and Jacob Knight are just guests for the day. <laughs> I got you. Well, finding out that it's just like being back at home with kids and all that stuff. Two new playmates, that is. It's new people to play with, and I love to watch their expressions when they eat the pie and the turkey and everything else we have. We have gotten a lot of opportunities to spend time. Uh, outside with people, regular people. <laughs> Zachary and Jacob don't get a lot of days like this. Well, the hardest one for me is being away from my family. The two are battle buddies in the U.S. Army based out of Fort Eustis. The Deaver family adopted them for Thanksgiving. These boys eat with abandon. And what I imagine they're going to be stuffing us to the gills today. <laughs> and they're always hungry when they get here. They Janice Stever and her daughter April have opened up their home for soldiers on Thanksgiving for more than 20 years. I've actually gotten letters from mom saying thank you. So we had eight soldiers one year. That was the year that I called mom and said, I can't fit them all in my car. <laughs> they and other families across Hampton Roads make room for these men and women every year to say thanks. It's nice to be able to sort of get back in touch with reality for Thanksgiving instead of just, you know, another military day. That's what Thanksgiving is to us. It's sharing what you have. In Yorktown, Liz Palka, pen on your side. The USO of Hampton Roads and Central Virginia organizes this program. They tell me 150 service people were adopted by families today. Liz Palka, 10 on your side. They were having a good time, it looks like, at that house.